Hello and welcome to another edition of Night Terrors Phantoms brought to you by Commando Gaming and Battletech Battles. We're going to continue our series on the Heavy Metal DLC. This is episode 21, so if you haven't seen the previous 20, please check them out. As we're not going to rehash and, and these videos assume that you've watched some previous videos or have some basic knowledge of the game. <clears throat> We have a flashpoint for you today, and we're all set up for that. So we're going to do the flashpoint headhunting. It's one of my favorite flashpoints of this series, um, and there's some significant salvage opportunities in this mission. So we're going to be fighting for House Davion, which is great because we're trying to build up reputation for them right now. Um, plus, again, you get some great salvage. So let's start the flashpoint. All right, I'm just going to uh, let you guys read the the commentary here. I'm going to give you a reasonable period of time to read each tab, and then I'm going to click forward. You can always pause the video or rewind if you need to see more of the commentary. So basically, you're going to go pirate hunting. The flak jackals have been preying on supply ships at the edge of the frontier. Uh, and they hit the target, kill most of the crew, and run back across the border before, before House Davion can respond. Um, obviously, House Davion could start a war by going into the territory to take them out. So this is why they need some mercenaries. So um, there's a lot of exposition here we can go through, but basically there's the leaders of this pirate group. There's two father uh, brother and sister and we have to have a battle and then assassination contract on one of the two possible targets so we're just going to select that because that's basically what the mission is all right so this says the damage they've inflicted on davion structures and vehicles is consistent with pulse lasers and gauss rifles so that would be a nice thing for us to get our hands on. We already have a Gauss rifle, but we don't have ammunition for it. So getting ammunition for our Gauss rifle would be really good. Plus we'd have a Gauss rifle for backup. So as much as I would love to get those medium pulse lasers, um, I think we have to go for the Gauss rifle. All right. So we have the first item here. We're going to max out salvage. And this is actually one of my favorite maps. Um, so they always use the same map for this. It'll be interesting to see if the script has changed, but traditionally I know how to play this uh, map pretty well. So we're going to definitely take our best pilots. Unfortunately, we have uh, several that have come back. So we're definitely going to take our best pilots. Um, let's see. That might actually come in handy, having somebody a second sensor locker. And we're going to take our best tactical pilot as well. So we're, we're bringing out all the heavy guns on this one. Going with our top people for sure. Now, uh, the weapons load out. We're definitely going to take the grasshopper because I put, actually put the tag into my grasshopper and I think that's going to be a much better use of it. Um, and especially for this map, which I'll explain later, it's going to be a great uh, choice. So given the layout of this map, we're actually going to go with our archers. 
primarily, and you'll see why. If, if I combine the archers and the grasshopper, I think this is going to be a pretty smooth mission. Uh, now, in addition to that, I've modified the battle master, so I'm gonna I'm I'm tempted to take the battle master, but I've also put an AC twenty on this banshee. I'm tempted to go with this because really I just need somebody that's gonna soak up a lot of damage. So let's give the banshee a try. And, and you'll see, basically, we're going to have the archers <clears throat> do a lot of the heavy damage. Uh, and we're going to let the banshee and the grasshopper kind of tank. Um, and I'll explain as we go through the mission. If, if you use this format, it should work really well and minimize damage to our key mechs. Like, for example, um, if the banshee... The Banshee is going to be one of our frontline units. I'll try to push him forward to soak up damage. So if he gets damaged, it's not a big deal for me if he isn't available for a while because he's not a key member of my Alpha Lance. I, I'm not taking the Marauder because this, build, this map does not really help us. Plus, I want him available for the second part of the... Uh, flashpoint. So let's just jump in. So this is a three and a half skull mission, so we should get some decent salvage in addition to this being like the, the, the initial mission. Basically, we have to take out some of the pirates to draw the, um, the leaders out of hiding so we can go after one of the leaders. And we're going to have a dilemma because we can't go after both. So we have to decide which, <clears throat> basically, which weapon type we want to add. All right, let's begin the mission here. All right. So this is actually one of my favorite, favorite uh, maps. The enemy's going to come down from this direction. Typically for this flashpoint, there's there's um, an initial wave plus reinforcements. We'll see if they've changed the script at all. But they always come right down this valley and will come up this road and attack you if you're patient. So what we're going to do here is we're going to get our archers over here behind that rock face. We're going to get our grasshopper and our banshee in position at the front of the pass here. So we could take our time to get set up here. There's no rush. Because until we move forward and get on their sensors, all right, so now that we're on their sensors, they will start coming for us. So we can actually just put the Banshee here because the Banshee, because of its size, is going to be their primary target. We'll put the Grasshopper there, and we're just going to reserve. The enemy is going to have to come to us because we are on their radar. So we can just reserve again. All 
All right, as you can see, they're just going to keep coming in. We've got a 70 tonner, probably an archer would be my guess, 80 ton vehicle, and a 55 ton mech so far. Nothing we can't handle. So we're just going to brace. All right, so they're far enough into the kill zone now that we're going to try to start the fun. So we're going to do that by bringing our grasshopper down. Okay, here comes the reinforcements. Right. So now that we have vision on targets, Now we could go after a lot of these targets, but or these two targets, but we want to go after the demolisher here because it's out of cover. All right, so there goes one vehicle. All right, they're going to keep shooting at our grasshopper, which is fine. That's totally fine. Second archer. Really high hit percentages on this griffin. As you can see, these plus 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 weapons do a ton of damage. So it can become a turkey shoot here. All right, we got a war hammer. So this is where we start taking advantage of our Banshee. So we're going to move up our Banshee. Remember, our Banshee, the one good thing about a Banshee is it can take a lot of damage. Bad thing is, obviously, it does not have a ton of firepower at its disposal. So I put an AC-20 on this, but as you can see, these guys just don't have a lot of armor. All right, Grasshopper is going to keep getting hit. That's okay. So we're going to give the grasshopper a round, and we can actually use vigilance here and brace. And let the Banshee take some damage. That's what the Banshee's for. No problem. All right. Because what did that do? That opened up the Griffin. to our crazy powerful missiles, right? Same thing here. Now keep in mind, I, I do have some plus plus missiles with this, but you could do this with any missile type um, you, it would just take a little longer for you to wear down the enemy. So as you can see, we've gotten two kills with almost no damage to our lance. All 
right. Our Banshee continues to take damage, take, uh, takes the pain here. So let's move the Banshee down to the forest. So we got a Shrek PPC carrier, or we have this Warhammer. Um, all right, I'm going to go after the PPC carrier just because I want to try to see if we can knock down the Warhammer a couple times to maximize salvage. It's not always going to work, but it's worth a try. All right, our Grasshopper basically has its paint chipped off, which is fine. We're going to move him into cover. So in, in addition to shooting his medium lasers, which will take off some evasion, we're going to try to hit the target with, a ta with the tag. All right, we hit him with the tag. That's the most important thing. All right, looks like we got another griffin there in the background. No, it's a 45 tonner, so it's not a griffin. All right, and we got our archer. We got this nice, fat, beefy target with a 95% hit percentage. There goes a leg. So we've got knockdown. And we're going to reserve our second archer because. Again, I want to hit this Warhammer when it's up to increase the chances of more salvage. So we got a 45 tonner and a 65 tonner in the background. So that's probably a Thunderbolt. And probably a Vindicator. So we'll just reserve. All right, time to move up our Banshee. Get vision. Yep, there's a thunderbolt and a vindicator, as expected. So it's a toss up here. Probably go with the vindicator just because the hit percentage is higher and the banshee only has so many shots. All right, there goes a leg on that vindicator. Good start. Knock down. Warhammer's up. Warhammer goes after the Banshee. Again, that's fine. I have no problem with that. And then we've reserved our Archer shot, right? So we can take that. Now he still has the tag on him, so the hit percentage is really high. No injuries there. I was hoping for a pilot injury. Let's go ahead and hit this guy. Um, We'll just use a precision strike, finish off this leg so we get two Warhammer parts, hopefully. There we go. All right. All right, Banshee's soaking up some damage. That's what it's there for, so that's fine. Keep hitting the Vindicator. Oh. Catapult. Yeah, 
Let's see if we can get knocked down or finish off this Vindicator. There we go. Ooh, head injury on our pilot. Not what I wanted. But that's all right. So we're going to move our Banshee back. Hopefully, we'll target something else. Ooh, lucky hit there. And we kind of need to push forward with our Grasshopper here. Take some heat off of the Banshee. And we'll get a tag on this Thunderbolt. Well, they kept going after the Banshee. But I hope they enjoyed it because their fun is almost over. Pilot injury on the Thunderbolt. Now I could probably finish off the Thunderbolt here, but the Grasshopper can do it, so we might as well hit this Catapult. Move up the Banshee. Again, focus on the catapult because the grasshopper should be able to finish off the thunderbolt. All right, knock down on the catapult. That's a bonus. All right, Twinkle can finish off this thunderbolt, hopefully. Not quite, but we did get a pilot injury. All right, so that Thunderbolt is basically trash. Finish off this Catapult. Finish off this Thunderbolt. All right, pretty successful mission. We did get one pilot injury. <clears throat> That's going to happen sometimes. That's why you have lots of pilots, right? So Jack will be out for 13 days. We've got a fair amount of damage on the Banshee. The Grasshopper basically has a scratch, which usually when you break it, bring it back to the med, ba the tech, med tech bay, they'll just put some paint on it and say it's good to go. So see it's lost one, one point of structural damage. So, and the Banshee, if it needs some repairs, it's not a big deal. Let's see, we got a Vindicator, which we can sell. We got two Warhammer parts, which is great. I always like to have extra Warhammers. Any plus weapons? Ooh, medium laser plus plus plus. 
Oh, ooh, PPC plus 10 damage. Okay, so those are worth more to me than these other parts, although we should get some of them. So we got a catapult, thunderbolt part. So we can actually sell a catapult and a vindicator after this mission. Got some great PPCs. Nice. I don't use them often, but when I do, it's going to be a plus, right? Problem with the PPCs is the tonnage doesn't quite make sense for the damage. I know they do some sensor impact, but it's really not that material, especially against the AI. Um, but if you add another plus 10 damage, then maybe the tonnage makes sense on builds that don't have a lot of energy hard points. All right, so we got a Vindicator, got a Catapult. I'm gonna put those into storage. They're not mechs that I would use. They'll just be part of the payoff at the end. Nicely done down there. If I didn't say the Zaho sibling's attention, nothing, if that did not get there's attention, nothing will. Do you have eyes on the target? They split up. Orchid has taken her lance northward and her brother has taken him away to the far east. A couple dozen opportunic mercenary companies right on our heels looking to pick up a piece of the action. There's no way they're gonna be able to take out both siblings, so we're gonna to have to make a choice. Goss rifles or pulse lasers. All right, they get into a philosophical discussion of life and death. So do we want the pulse lasers or do we want the Goss rifle? So I'd love to get the pulse lasers, but we already have a Gauss rifle just collecting dust that we need ammunition for. So we're going to go ahead and go after the Gauss rifle here. All right, so that sets us up for head hunting too. Let's go to the mech bay. Uh, my poor grasshopper needs a day of repair. The banshee needs three days of repair. So I don't need the banshee, but I would like to take the grasshopper. Especially now that I've made him my tag pilot for the most part. So let's wait a day for the grasshopper. Okay, we did that. Yeah, we got head hunting too. Again, we're gonna max out salvage. Now I need to make some tough choices about what I want to take on this mission. So. I think I'm going to take the Battlemaster. I'm going to take the Archer S. A little bit more firepower, especially since it switches from SRM4s to uh, from LRMs to SRMs because it has good SRMs on it. So we're going to take the Archer. And I can go with Firepower or I can go with our defensive buff that comes with the Marauder. All right, 
we're going to take the Orion. And the Archer S. So. We'll take Bulwark for the Archer. And I feel pretty good about this Lance. So typically, this mission is usually a nine on four. With your target, um, the brother, kind of hanging back and occasionally taking sniper shots at you. But he usually doesn't get involved until the very end of the game match. Now that might change. Now if, if I was writing this script and I just wanted to make it a, a little harder... I would have the uh, sniper get more involved in the initial parts of this battle because he does have a Gauss rifle with 75 damage so he could do some damage at really long range. So Darius wisely says that you should close your distance on the sniper as quickly as possible, which definitely makes sense. All right, so we can see our opponent there. He's in a Jagger mech, which fits the Goss rifle build. Let's look at the map. So the initial group of opponents is here. There's going to be reinforcements that come over here. So we have to figure out what to do. So generally I like to push forward on the initial group. Keep the archer in the back. We'll sprint up the grasshopper. It's kind of like a uh, target to get their attention. Yep. So we probably have a turn or two before the reinforcements get here. So we should really push forward. All right, we got a commando of all things. See if we can tag him. We missed on the tag. All right, nothing we can't handle. Now we can just take advantage of the tag or the line of sight on this commando. forward on our Orion. We're going to save our AC-20 ammo here. Don't really need it for a commando. Oh, we got a 95 tonner coming up. My guess would be a Banshee. Ooh, and we got an archer. So they changed the script a little bit by giving us an archer here on the initial group. So we kind of have to take that into account. We got our commando. Ooh, nice hit percentages here on this archer. So we're going to make him pay for exposing himself. Not 
right, so. We're gonna press forward with our grass upper. We don't wanna go over this ridge, but we do wanna close the distance on our targets. So let's get a tag on this archer. It's all right, the grasshopper can handle that. So let's hit this archer hard. Move up the Orion. And we'll definitely use this AC-20 on this Archer. Archer's being very aggressive. Let's take advantage of some cover here. We can still shoot everything at this archer. There goes a lot of his firepower. All right, our reinforcements are coming up. This is going to get dicey. Hard hit on that commando, from that commando. All right, we need to get some kills here. So we're gonna move up pretty aggressively with our grasshopper. So we can put our full arsenal into this commando. All right, there's one target. Kentaro. Hmm, hard hit on our Orion, but that's what the Orion's there for. So, we'll move the Orion into cover. And we're actually going to have the Orion hit this Kentaro. That kind of hurt that we missed that AC-20 shot. All right, let's kind of shift our archer away from those reinforcements. See if we can finish off this opponent archer. We'll do a precision strike here. I don't know how much it helps, but we've got the ability maxed out. All right, there goes the archer. All right, that... That 95 tonner is just hanging out back there. Doesn't make sense, but there you go. So we're going to keep the uh, Battle Master in cover here. Shoot everything we can at this Kentaro. We have enough uh, precision strikes built up, so let's go ahead and hit for the center torso here. Set up an easy kill later, hopefully. All right, here comes a spider. Not worried about a spider. All right, so that banshee's far enough away. I'm assuming that's a banshee. That we can actually do melee here on this Kentaro. 110 damage with melee. A lot of damage with our lasers. 
That Gintaro's in bad shape. Alright. Alright, so we should be able to do some multi-target here at the Archer. So let's... LRMs and everything else. Ooh, so close to knockdown there. Would have been nice. Kentaro retreats. Do some multi target, see if we can pop this Kentaro. Target that spider with everything else except for our AC20. It's kind of, kind of a waste on a spider. All right, finish off that Kentaro. Very nice. A little damage on the spider. Ooh, lots of hits on our Orion. All right, here comes that Banshee. That's okay. All right, so we also have a Victor on the field. I mean, it's, the tonnage is good, but it's not really that much of a threat. And we've got our Battlemaster. Pretty good position here. Just gonna do some multi-target. We'll start working on that Victor. And then we'll hit that spider with everything else. Knock down on the spider. As you can see, that's kind of why we tanked up the Grasshopper. All right. So we're going to close on this Banshee. My concern is we're going to be in range of that Goss Rifle. But we're going to take the chance here because we can't just let the Banshee hang out there and keep hitting us with its AC. All right, so we got the tag in on the Banshee. All right. All right, so the only target we have for the Archer is that Banshee, which is fine. If I can provide the uh, Grasshopper with some fire support it should be able to handle the banshee for a little while oof yeah this this is a rough battle um all right let's give the uh Grasshopper, some more indirect fire support. Banshee's going to ignore the Grasshopper. Go after our Orion, which is not horrible. Oh, see, that's what I was afraid of. That's what I was afraid of. All right. All right, so we got to use our battle master here. We got to get rid of this banshee. I was afraid of that Goss rifle, and it made me pay the price there. Oh, no. All right, so we got... 
a little bit of a challenge here. We need to get our grasshopper up as quickly as possible. Yeah, hey, this is a this is a tough mission. A lot of good options here. So we got to get our grasshopper. So we do have another option. And I'm never afraid to use this option. We're going to eject here. I just, I think we'll, that was the best move. We really need to hit this Banshee hard now. Now, fortunately, there's significant damage to this leg. We need to take advantage of that. All right. Don't like to do this with my archers, but we need to do what we need to do. So we're going to hit this uh, banshee with everything we have. Almost got rid of it. Mm. All right, that hurts our Orion a good bit. Move up our battle master. We're gonna do precision strike here. We just need to get this banshee off the field. All right, we got some damage to our archer there. Should be okay for our round. Mm. Yeah, I've got to say this this is a harder harder scenario than in the past. I think they beefed up this thing. I mean, the big thing was they actually got the assassination target involved with the rest of the scenario. So our challenge here is we're running out of LRMs. We're going to reserve. So we got a Victor, a 55 tonner, and a 30 tonner we're up against here. That's that spider that's almost finished. So we need our battle master here to do some tanking. That's what it's for. <laughs> Let's 
go for a targeted strike on the center torso, on the victor. All right, I missed there. That was really big. We're going to be aggressive here. Let's see if we can finish off this victor. All right, had to be done. All right. Gonna have to, they're gonna keep going after our Orion here. All right, so our Orion needs to move back and brace. All right, okay. So it's time for our archer to uh, get back into this fight. Now, the reason I took this archer S, all right, so we got a griffin. Is the archer S has got some great SRMs. So we're gonna try to work on this spider with the SRMs. We got to keep our LRMs for our sniper, so. All right, we need to move forward. Do some multi-targeting again. See if we can get this spider off the board. Do some damage to that griffin. There we go. Griffin comes out, hits our Battlemaster, well, that's fine. All right, we need to tank forward with our Archer. We need the Battlemaster to have its, as much armor as possible for the last push. Oh, all right. I was not planning on that being a catapult. Was not planning on a catapult there. All right. I don't want to do this, but. We can't just let this catapult be beat us up here. We're going to have to tank with the Orion. Might lose the Orion here. This catapult is definitely the most dangerous target now. So we got to hit it with everything we got. Ooh, lost our gyro on the Orion. All right. 
do or die for this Orion. We need to get that catapult off the field. All right, we took off some of the weapons. Thank goodness. All right, I was going to try to save these LRMs, but we can't. So we're going to do LRMs on that catapult. Everything else on the Griffin. Had to get knocked down on the catapult there. We get multi target here. Yeah, we're just going to do precision strike. Hmm, I was hoping to pop that catapult there. All right, we've got to take another round from the Griffin. All right. That Orion is earning its pay. One AC-20 shot left. That's all it's got. Let's see if we can finish off this catapult. No. Maybe should have ejected there. Ooh, our assassination target's coming up. Is he going to come to us instead of making us come to him? That is a new twist. That actually benefits us. Usually the assassination target just kind of stays up there and makes us come to him. So if he's going to come down, that is really nice. So we're going to multi-target here. Again, I was going to try, hopefully try to save the LRMs, but I don't think we can here. And 30 isn't going to make a difference later. But if it takes out that catapult, that is very helpful. All right, let's see if we can get in the best position to, for when that opponent comes around the hill. Let's see if we can finish off this griffin. Not quite. Let's see what the Griffin does. Yeah. I knew that was going to happen. Hopefully, uh, Beloved can make it through that. Hopefully we didn't lose Beloved there. This is definitely a harder battle than the last time I did this one. Let's see if we can finish off this Griffin quickly before that Goss rifle comes into this. All right, there's our assassination target. He's going to be, looks like he's going to be passive. Let's see if we can't finish off this Griffin. Almost. All right, let's see what the Griffin does here. Ooh, 
Hmm. Hard hit on our Battlemaster. All right. Two against one, but he has a Gauss rifle. Oh, but he's out in the open. So we need to take advantage of that. All right, let's get to where we have cover and vision. Here he comes. Oh, he didn't take a shot. All right, so we got to get, we're going to have to hammer this guy hard. Hard, 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 hard. So what we need to do, the Gauss rifle is at a disadvantage at this range. So we just have to give up cover and hit him with everything we have. Preferably with a shot to the head. All right, he's going to get his shot in. Oh, we get our shot first. Unfortunately, this archer has some pretty good firepower at short range. Okay. All right, he's going to batch off. He missed with his Gauss rifle. Huge, 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 huge for us. All right, we're going to move up. We're going to get in cover. And again... Actually, let's go for the leg here. Okay, we got a pilot injury. And we got knocked down. All right, we're going to take... Uh, Let's go for the head. Hopefully we'll hit the head. No. Oh. All right. We're not going to get as much salvage as I would like. All right. So that's the mission. That's the flashpoint. Two mechs. One mech seriously damaged. One destroyed. Might not be recoverable. We'll see. Hopefully we didn't lose our pilot. Oh, we did lose Beloved. That that really hurts. He was one of my better pilots. Not happy about that outcome. But they definitely made this harder. I guess I have to take the Banshee part. All right. Do we get a Goss rifle? No, we do not get a Goss rifle. Sometimes it's recoverable. Sometimes it's not, but we do have to, some plus weapons, so we got to grab those. I don't worry about accuracy too much. Ooh, this LRM-20++, plus plus plus, that's huge. That goes on an archer immediately. And then we just have to take the best parts at this point. Um, we'll take the Victor part just because of the tonnage. And then we'll take the uh, catapult part again, just because of the tonnage. All right, so we got an Archer 2S out of that, which is good. I really like the Archer 2S. Um, all and there we go. That was a tough battle. It was it, again. It was harder than what 
I've had in the past on that flashpoint. Things really went south there when I was a little too aggressive on attacking the Banshee with the Grasshopper. Um, I chalked that up to over-efficiency uh, or overconfidence. Um, so that's something we can learn from. All right. All right, so we, I like this archer. What do I want the archer more than? That's what it comes down to. Um, you know, the flea was fun for a while, but it really isn't useful at this stage in the game. So we're just going to send the flea to storage. All right, let's get the end of this flashpoint. Nicely done. Davion will be pleased. All right, let's see what our rewards are. We got a million in sea bills. We got our Goss ammo, which we needed. We needed Goss, more Goss ammo. We got two Goss rifles. We already had one, so I don't know if we need three, especially since ammo is so hard to find. Plus medium laser, cockpit mod plus three. That is worth a lot right now for us. Um, and a fire starter part. Nice. All right, we lost Beloved. That sucks. That is the world of Battletech, right? These guys know the risk. All right, our Battlemaster is going to take a day to repair. Our Orion, we, we lost a lot of stuff in this Orion. All right. So let's start rebuilding this Orion. We're probably going to spend about five to ten minutes here on repairs, guys. So if you want to fast forward, please do so. All right. So we kept our AC-20. We lost our gyro, but we got a gyro to replace it. Not quite as good as what we lost. Um, all right, so we need a heat sink. Let's put it in the leg. All right, we lost some some plus weapons here, so we got to rebuild this guy. But we're going to rebuild him stronger than before. So let's start out with weapons. All right, we're actually going to put in on a SRM six plus plus. Take advantage of that. And you know what? We'll put on a SRM two plus plus. I think that's a good plan there. Um, this guy doesn't really need LRMs, so we're just going to switch up this build a little bit. Put on some lasers. We'll give him a plus 10 damage. All right. The, the heat efficiency is a little wobbly on this one. Oh, we don't need LRM ammo anymore, so that helps. So let's take advantage of that. See if we can't increase the... Heat management a little bit. 
not great, but we're not going to be firing all these weapons at the same time, probably. Um, and this baby's going to be down for 11 days. That's all right. We can make do without that. Now, um, Grasshopper. Ooh, we lost our Cockpit Mod Plus. That is too bad. Uh, we didn't have a choice there, so we'll put in our plus 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 here. We lost three heat sinks, so not too bad. We kept our tag. Let's put the heat sinks in the legs. There we go. All right, this will be ready in four days. Not too bad. Now we have our Gauss rifle. And my plans for this Gauss rifle, our Marauder really needs some more firepower because we're going to take it out every time. And welcome to a Gauss rifle. So we're going to take our Gauss Rifle Plus, which take takes off two tons. So we're going to put that into our Marauder. We're going to drop a large laser. All right, we have to put in our Gauss Ammo. We're going to put on a medium laser plus plus. And a medium laser plus three accuracy for now. Try to take advantage of the firepower on this baby. And we got three tons available. So we can put on small laser. Oh, wait. Small laser plus plus, small laser plus plus plus. Gives it a lot of close range firepower if need be. And let's max out some armor. Yes, indeedy. So we got max armor now on this Marauder. So it can re almost max armor. So it can really take a pounding here. It's got good long range firepower. It's got good heat efficiency. Um, this average range is deceiving because of the small lasers, but it's got a Gauss rifle, which is one of the longest uh, range weapons in the game. So this is actually, I really like this build. It'll take five days. Looking forward to playing with that. So we got another Archer uh, S. As you can see, really high firepower on this thing. We need to play around with the uh, heat. We'll do that soon. We got both of our archer archers still available, um, but we've got some significant repairs to do. So let's priori prioritize those repairs. Marauder goes to the top because I want to make sure we can have some fun with that Gauss rifle. Battlemaster has to go up to the top as well. Because that's one of our alpha lances. Grasshopper, 
top of the list as well for the same reason. Move that Phoenix Hawk down, down. Oh, the Banshee actually did pretty good. I got to give it credit. Oh, all right. I forgot. We had a second Marauder that we put together. So this new Marauder goes to the top. The original Marauder goes to the top of the list. Is that right? I think that's right. Move our old Marauder. Our down. Is less of a priority. All right, that should get us some decent firepower pretty quickly. Uh, all right, so we got to go to the store. We got some stuff to sell. Get rid of this catapult. Mm, I don't know if we need this Jagger mech for anything. Let's sell that. I don't like the Jagger mech. It's kind of fragile. Sell this Vindicator. No, everything else we're just kind of keeping as backups. Do we need two fleas? No, but I mean, I'm not going to get a lot of salvage for them. I don't need seven AC2s. I'll take my chances, just get rid of those. We still have two AC2s that are pluses. All right. I don't need 10 AC10s. Sell half of those, most of those. Don't need seven AC twenties. Keep two of those. Don't need nine large lasers. Keep four of those. I like to keep my. Uh, Excess salvage at a minimum. We don't need 11 LRM-15s. We'll keep half. Right. Got to get these LRM-20 pluses into some mechs. Do we need 116 medium lasers? I'm going to say no. I'm going to say we'll do just fine with like 30. Sell those. I don't need 14 PPCs since I have plus, already have a couple plus PPCs. Let's sell those. I like small lasers, but I don't need 24. We'll keep six. It's amazing how many things you just gather as miscellaneous salvage. Seventy two heat sinks? I'm thinking no. I think we can keep twenty five and feel pretty comfortable. Not too worried about getting rid of ammo. Now let's see what we have in the store here. We have a part of a battle master. That's interesting. Some large laser pluses. Not really that excited about that. There's no equipment I'm dying to have here. So that'll do it for the store. We've got plenty of money. So 
switch to the hiring hall. We need to hire some new new guns. What do we have? A whole lot of nothing. Hmm, we'll get Chancellor here. Doesn't really fit what we need. One second. Um So that that'll conclude this video. We'll continue on soon. See you soon.